In this video, I am going to show you how to create clips from your recorded videos on ReplayCast. From the dashboard go to your videos page by clicking the videos link on the top navigation bar. From here, click on manage button found next to the video you want to create clips from. The area underneath will expand. Here you can see the match information for the video. If you want to preview the video you can click on video preview and then play the video. If you want to download the video you the download link will be available under the video player. To create clips of this video, click on the edit link. The events timeline will appear under the video. Here you can see all events by all champions in the match. To filter events by champion, select your champion from the list on the left. To see multi-kills, select multi-kills option. Assists can be seen too, by selecting assists. The champion deaths are also available by selecting the option. And buildings will show you the towers and turrets the champion has taken down or participated in taking down. Now, before creating the clip, for more accurate clipping, go to the video player and click on the picture in picture button, which will appear when playing the video. Click on picture in picture button to detach the video player. The detached video player can be moved around and resized. Scroll down to the events timeline. You can seek to event in the match by right clicking on the event, and then clicking on one of the seek to links. Now, Right click on the timeline and then click on add new clip. A clip box will appear on the timeline. To clip more accurately, right click on the box and then on fit selected. This will zoom into the timeline up to the point where the box fits nicely on the timeline. You could now resize and move around the box to approximate the clipping part. To clip to exact point, you can move around the red line or seeking line, so that you can see where exactly you are on the video. You could then resize and move the clipping box. To preview the clip, right click on the box and then on seek to and play part. To set a name for this clip, right click on the box and then on edit name. Enter your desired name on click on OK button or hit the enter key. To reset the timeline zoom, click on Reset Zoom button just above the video timeline. You can add multiple clips that will be in your final video. Again, right click on the video timeline and then on Add New Clip. You could then resize and move the new clipping box. 
fit selected, to zoom into the timeline. Resize and move the clipping box. If the red line is not shown on this zoom level, you could right click on the video or events timeline and then on, seek to. Move the red line to check where exactly you are in the video, and then resize the clipping box accordingly. To preview this clip, right click on the box and then on, seek to and play part. Set a name for this clip, by right clicking on the box and then on, edit name. Select the group by clicking on the big box that is before the video timeline. You can edit the name of the group, by right clicking on the group box and then on, edit name. Enter the name and hit enter or click, OK. The background of the timeline group will be yellow when the clip group is selected. Just below the timeline you will see all the clips you have created. To reorder the clips in the group, click and hold the clip box, and move it to the position you want. All clips in the group will be joined into a single video that you can see by clicking on Play All link. Like. Your changes are not saved. You will need to save the clips you created in order for our system to process them from the video. Below the clip list you will see the processing options, which will apply to the final video. For example, you could add overlay image, or watermark, to the final video. Click on, save and next, button to save changes. Uploading options are optional, but, if you want the final video to appear on YouTube, click on Options button next to YouTube and choose the channel from the list. If your YouTube channel is not connected, the YouTube logo will appear on which you can click to connect your channel. Click on Save button to save changes. You can monitor the progress of your final video by clicking on Videos and then on Video Queue. If you've chosen to upload your final video to YouTube, the YouTube video link will appear in Uploads, accessible from the top navigation bar.